<laughs> Straight in the biscuits, Neil. Pringles? Is that what you're going for? Oh no, we'll get some of these. Pringles, Zambon. Unbelievable. Monster. So I've got pistachios and a tuna salad, and Neil's getting Pringles. <laughs> Monster. Really, I see. You've had that same one for two weeks. Right, back by popular demand. The real. Oh, trying to open the door of the van. Neil Metcalf is back. Neil, the fans have been fleeing for you on the last vlog because you weren't here. Why have you been brought back into action? Did pass me my water, please. Oh yes. Why? Uh, why have we brought you back in? Other than for the viewing figures. I'm the only one that can fix the bike. <laughs> If you haven't seen the last vlog, go back, have a watch. We're out in Spain. I was out in Spain on my own, came to do some riding, and I fell off my bike. I've been home, got some parts, we've flown back out today. That was another dilemma, so because I'm a miserable git, I didn't want to pay to put a bag. Is that why, Neil? I didn't want to pay to put a bag on the flight, as in a hole. What do you call it when you put it down the hole? Whatever it's called, like a check-in bag. Didn't want to pay for one of them, so we brought hand luggage instead, booked extra hand luggage. The guy in the security thing in the airport looked very stressed when he seen my bag go through, because it was literally a bag of parts, like air scoop, top yoke, steering damper, all sorts, so he came rushing over. Basically, he said to me after, he was a nice guy, he said to me after that it looked like a machine gun in the, in the, in the camera, the scanner, so yeah, that took a bit of a while getting through the airport, but we're here now, we're on our way to the track. I'm gonna go straight to the track this evening, survey the damage, and oh, sorry, on round. Yeah, see what we can do, and you guys are gonna come along and see how much tongue and, oh, the Pringles, see how much tongue and nails done. I'm gonna do about what I've caused, but I think it's not actually that bad, Neil. Well, I haven't seen it really. Are you not? Apparently not. Yeah, just and well, just your judgment. And I, and I did give it a good clean. I have given it a good clean. It was it was dusty. It wasn't mean anything. Well, yeah, it was dusty and dirty. So I've cleaned it and took all the broken bits that I think off it, made the list and everything. So we might not even have the bits that we bloody need. Exactly. I've seen this on a vlog. It must have been only the other day. I was sitting watching something over Christmas, and the guy wasn't like selling it or anything, but he was just drinking it and saying how amazing it was. And I've literally just seen it in the first service station. So. I'm gonna give it a go. Can you actually buy this in England? If anybody can let me know, can you buy it in England? Because I think the thing I was watching was in America or somewhere. If you can't, let me know. They are stuck to the old faithful Coca-Cola. I need some sugar. Yeah, had an early morning, haven't you? Big day traveling. He's been sleeping on the plane. I'm gonna put a clip in right now of Neil sleeping on the plane. I slept. What? Just close my eyes. Oh, you're just resting them. Yeah, you're good at that. Right, we're in the shed now, and this is Neil's first chance to uh, get a look at the bike. I don't want to start weaving the camera around because there's other people's bikes and stuff here. So, I'm gonna get the cover off. That might have been part of the reason. Let him see what he see what he thinks. Reckon that all uh, tea cut out. I've already checked that by the way, so I turned that upside down when I'm done so it doesn't actually leak or anything even though it looks really bad. We've took the whole front end off now, so obviously the air scoop comes out, the clock bracket mounts off the air scoop, dash sits onto the clock bracket and then the top yoke. One of these is a little bit marked, but it sits fine. I tried putting the top yoke back on. What do you think? Oh, he doesn't want to look at it yet. He's He's already huffing and he hasn't even started yet. This, this is not going well. Right, so when I'm in here doing this, I just want to take this chance. This is the R1 that the guy let me use. So if any of you guys on here are track day people, and you know them, funny enough, the front tire's gone flat. So that wasn't me. It wasn't like that when I left. But this is the bike, and absolute pleasure it was to ride. It was absolutely immaculate. Thanks, mate, for giving me a full day on this, the last day. You really pulled me out of the shit. That's the bike 
out of the compound now we're just going to go back up to the garage i've got a load of stuff in the back of the van neil kindly offered to push the bike <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna get this emptied out now and then get everything organized, set the toolbox and all that up and then actually make a plan as to getting started and see what I forgot. I hope to God I haven't forgot anything. You never know until you start. Just got in the garage, uh, set everything up. Get a little thing, same thing as normal. People all around, other bikes and stuff. Remember I said earlier about the bag that we brought to the airport, the parts in. This is actually it. So, oil cooler. Oh, first of all, this is the original dash. The dash was okay, but I had to get a front and rear surround. So I got that. That's obviously the MoTeC piggyback logger. Some uh, nuts and bolts, but new parts. This is the oil cooler, uh, clock bracket, air scoop. We had a steering damper off the other bike. We've managed to bring that out. This is the dash. Dash off the other bike that we brought just in case. But this one doesn't work, but they both run the same electronics. Now. This was the most important part that we obviously couldn't run without which was the new top yoke and then some other little hoses and brackets and bits and pieces some brake pads yeah so that's pretty much it so this is current situation and this is neil's face right now he doesn't look happy does he i don't think he can hear me what do you think neil should we go get a coffee before we start Sit down, me right. <laughs> right, so first of all, it's uphill to the work garage and Neil's pushed the bike the whole way from the compound. So yeah, he's just letting his, letting his heart rate rest. But that's the current situation, so I'm not even going to pretend that it's me fixing it or have anything to do with fixing it. I'll just let him tell me what to do. If you need parts, if you need whatever, picking up. I've seen there's some little um, clips and stuff still in the damaged bodywork, so I'll go and maybe strip that first. Get, get that ready. We've got a new seat and stuff ready to go on. We had that anyway. We need to take the GPS off the damaged seat, new seat unit, because the last one pulled clean out of these here. We've fit to fix it, but not for not for right now. Is, is it a, what is it, a Velocet? No, not a Velocet. Uh, matchless. Yeah. Some guy here cruising around on an old Matchless. But yeah, that's the current situation, so I'll maybe stick the camera on the side and do a time lapse or whatever. Yeah. That I'll start my Right, okay. Bike, it, bike does look pretty clean though. I did clean it up. Obviously put new covers and stuff on. Do fantastic. Don't lie, Neil. Be honest though, for someone that has no clue. Do a fantastic job, yeah. What, I reckon the bike? Yeah. <laughs> I'm another mint into a scrapper. <laughs> As you can see, she now looks like a motorbike again. A few little bits and pieces that we can couldn't get a bracket for, we couldn't get a bracket for the spider. Well, we didn't, couldn't, I forgot to bring it out. So the spanner just, just, just cable tied in there. The reservoir bracket needs tapping into the top yoke. I don't have the bracket and I don't have a tap. So for now, we've got a beautiful cable tie and stuff. Tank's obviously original because we couldn't bring another tank out in the hand luggage, but that's all good. New dash on, dash around, sorry, dash bracket, air scoop, bodywork, oil cooler, top yoke. So she's ready to go. Thanks to Neil, as always, for uh, pulling me out of the shit. He's just got his blanket in now. He's going to sleep here tonight because he's done that good of a job. He doesn't want to leave the bike. Check back in in the morning. We'll get here in the morning. I have to go back to the house. All my kit and everything's at the house. So I can't get that ready now. But yeah, once I come back in the morning, we'll check back in. We'll give it a run up. We've run it up already to make sure there's no leaks and stuff. Yeah, check back in in the morning and see what's happening. Just for anyone wondering, it is now uh, quarter past seven. Well, it's actually quarter past eight. So it took us like... Got here four, yeah, four and a bit hours just to, to get that done. Need to sort the van out now before going back to the house. Yeah, that's not bad, I don't think. Four, that's four and a half hours, Neil. Yeah, that's not bad. See you in the morning. So it's now the next morning. Uh, we got in quite early because we had a few little bits and pieces to do that we couldn't really see in the dark last night, so Neil wanted to be sure. So the main one of them things was the, we had to put a new brake hose on between the reservoir and the master cylinder. So it was only short, but we had a temporary one that was just a fuel line, just to, so we could bleed the brakes up before we went back to check that. And tidied up a few little bits and pieces behind the dash and the clock where the, the MoTeC and stuff was, which was in here. But just to say, like, we've got some stuff cable tied and everything. Same thing, even what we said with the reservoir, we've had to cable tie that on. It's not going anywhere, but it's obviously not a permanent. Yeah, I think we're about ready to go. It's not the same front tire that I crashed on, but it's a used front tire. So we're just basically gonna go out the first session. We'd probably do a lap nail and then just come in and check everything or have a. Oh, it feels great. Yeah. 
brakes is probably the main thing. The oil yeah, cooler and everything's yeah. fine. We've run the bike up twice now. It's uh, had two heat cycles and stuff, no leaks or anything like that. Fuel in the tank and everything, so we can't tell. I, like I said, I flipped the, the cap over, or the tank over with fuel in. The only other thing is that the clip at the back of the dash, the actual clip that holds it in, has got a little fracture in it, and so that might come out, but I don't know. I think there's a ru the rubber that goes around it will be enough to hold it in, so let's see. There she goes. I don't know what looks more damaged than the yellow of the bike. You love a bit of duct tape, don't you? <laughs> Scratching these leathers. Just, just polish this bit, Neil. I'm not polishing it. Give it's it a spray. I would just give it a bit of a spray. Right, he's acting all hard now, but I've literally just caught him. I've just caught him <laughs> trying, to polish, trying to polish the tank out. Yeah. Done. Everything worked fine. Well, I expected it because Neil's here now, so um, yeah, no problems at all. Bike's running fine. Feels good. Everything feels straight and stuff. Obviously, we'll check it with like the wheel alignment and everything when we get home properly. But yeah, for now, everything feels good. Bars and everything feel okay. Brakes feel fine. So happy days. That tire's scrubbed off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it'll clean up. We went out with um, a used front and because the other track is so hard on tyres it's actually ended up cleaning the tyre up here so probably do another session. It doesn't look too bad does it? We'll do another session on that one and before putting a new front tyre on but everything feels fine. Move the handlebars a little bit. I'm really finicky with stuff like that. We don't have the handlebar clamp like the jig thing here. I'm going to move the bars uh, back out a little bit. Yeah, go from there. You happy with the rebuild? I'm happy for a couple of days, yeah, you can stay like that. What? Yeah, but I've pulled you out of the shit again, haven't I? Hey, right on the shit. <laughs> I haven't forgot anything. No, you haven't. Tell me you found the bits. Are already, you surprised? The bits that were already here. Could have had it all done, you Well, can we get that on camera that I've done a good job? Basically, all we need is a clock record and a scope. Everything else was here. Yeah. yeah, that sort of holds the forks together. You're happy though? Are you smiling inside? Alright, Neil actually is smiling inside. You think you could get some footage of me like riding past? What? I'll show you. If you go that slow, I'll give you What? <laughs> yeah, even you could get me on camera, surely, at this speed. Right, so when I got on, obviously because the impact was on this side of the bike and that bar was in, I thought that the bars, the bar was bent and now that we've got the bar back in the right position, it's actually the yokes had spun a little bit so the, the bike was facing, so when I was sitting on the bike it was like going straight and it was like kinked that way a little bit, so we've loosened the bottom yoke off, spun it back around and uh, we're going to go back out and try it now. Neil's still in an absolute mid mood. This is where a bit of brute strength comes in. Handy Neil, isn't it? Really? Yeah, you got my muscles I involved. Didn't, I didn't do anything. Huh? You just lent on it. You've been toffee. Toffee. Toffee, yeah. Not like the old days, Neil, when they were proper bikes. None of this electric crap. Not like the old fireblades. You don't even like Hondas, what do you mean, fireblade? Like the original ones. What, the RC45? No, well, the original fireblade. Ran them at the TT League. At the TT? What day? Right, if Neil gets this wrong, call him out. What? No, no. come on. You were working on it. Yeah. It was ninety-six, ninety-seven. We were running Right, so if that date's wrong, comment now and tell Nick, call Neil out. He says ninety-six, ninety-seven for the original, very first version of the Fireblade. That is day one done. As you can see, it's been an absolutely mega day. The weather, it's actually warmer now than it was, I think, before Christmas. But got 50, 
How many laps we did? 52 or 54 laps in. So in my mind, we're absolutely winning considering we didn't know if the bike was going to be fit to run and everything would work out right. The top yoke is still, a, it's not twisted, a little bit off. We don't have the wheel aligners here, so we can't do anything about that. It's not affecting the bike. I don't feel it on the bike or anything. It's just like visually when I look down at the yoke. So we'll sort that whenever we get home. But other than that, I'm just absolutely peaking. So I'm going to chuck a camera on tomorrow. Uh, obviously, we haven't been around this track and uh, we're too busy today sorting stuff out and stuff and actually i might try and get try my new set of rear sets eventually we've been moving these ones around a little bit but there's not a lot of movement so yeah that's the plan so we're gonna try that tomorrow get more laps in get some onboard footage i'm gonna try and get the cameras in some different um to what we've had before so let's see what happens and hopefully we don't lose any cameras <laughs> right now the next morning, we uh, dropped the wheels off last night down the tyre changing place, so just picked them up this morning, come in, chuck them in, get them on warmers, and then we go and get a coffee. Nobody else in the garage, yeah. First one's in, Neil. Is this one going the front or the back? Right, so we've been out now and done a couple of sessions, it's dinner time. It did sort of mizzle a little bit there, so we thought we had a bit of time, so we've attacked the rear set. So we've took the, the original Honda one off. So we've, to, during the day, we've moved them down and down, they were up at like full height, and then these are about 15 mil lower what the Honda one was. So we're gonna put that on and then we'll have to change the gear, lever and stuff as well to get the right distance for that. But yeah, we're gonna give them a whirl. Thought the weather was a bit iffy and we had some extra time. We might as well make a... Uh... We've obviously got the instructions out for Neil because he's absolutely no idea what he's doing. Probably never done this before, have you? Yeah. No? Are you happy? I can't afford bits like this. You are? Like this. You can't afford bits like this? I can't afford bits like this. Have you sponsored me this, Neil? Have I sponsored you? Yeah, gonna crack these on and go ride. And that's the whole point of these sort of days. Obviously, it's down for getting me back to being fit and feeling better on the bike and everything, but being comfortable is really important as well. And obviously, because we've gone to Spider with all the other bikes, this is gonna happen anyway. We might as well see what which rear shed it is we want and what we want to go with. So, thanks to them guys for sending this stuff out for us to try. It all means a lot. Well, that was a bit weird. This is one of them things you ask Neil to do and then I'm going to go out and ride the bike and then go. I do like the other ones though as well and ask him to change it back and he's going to go absolutely mental. Be prepared for that to happen. What, <laughs> what happens if I change it back Neil? Chicken piss out. No. <laughs> Said it's like one of these things that you want to try and then and maybe change it back. Yeah, you'll be changing it back. What? You'll be changing it back. I don't know how. Never even got to try my rear set. Bloody pissed down. So, that's the end of day two. Check back in tomorrow and we'll see how we go. Right, we're back today. As you can see, the sun is back out, so it's looking really good. I've actually got someone here, there's someone here with Rory that's gonna do some video for us. So he's gonna go out on track and get me going in out of the garage and stuff. So I don't normally have this, especially not at a test. Some of it might have already been in because if you could cut it in or out or whatever, but I'm gonna take some of the Insta360s out on track on a pole and different things. And we've both tried some new cameras on different mounts as well. So let's see what happens. And then we're actually getting to use the rear sets for the first time. So I'm a little bit excited. This is what all the age looks like. Kim the new. <laughs> oh, I've got a nice little raffle one in there. That'll do you lovely. Oh, yes. Show us your tits. In the news. You're some filmer, Obi. Prime time, baby. <laughs> get Neil in, because that's what all the housewives feel. No, don't get me in. Zoom right Keep in. Keep me on. out of it. <laughs> Neil, for you long. You live that, Neil, for you long. <laughs> you live and learn. Neil. 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 Give the boy a hand.
Insta360 X3. This camera might never be seen again. This one and that one's not allowed, but I reckon he's because he's seen that one, then he spotted this one <laughs> when he was talking to me.
it off now. You did press record, didn't you? <laughs> oh no! No! Oh no! Oh man! Failed at the media. <laughs>